Hey, this is the with FBL102. We're back with more of my top 50 games countdown. But there's going to be a slight change as I'm just going to do pictures from now on because it took way too long to do the video clips. And I want to get this over and done with. So, we're going to count down from 39 to however far we get in this 10 minutes, roughly. So, let's begin. Okay, the first of the games to count down is number. 39 and it's South Park for the PS1, a game I have let's played and it's basically a first person sh shooter style game um, for the PS1 and but it's not like the regular PS1, um, I mean not PS1, the regular first person shooter as you use snowballs and better weapons than all just boring guns and shooting like army men but anyway um, the reason I put number 39 is because <laughs> Even though it is a really good game, well, not a really good game, but a good game to me, and I've let's played it and beat it. It's not my favorite game, and I, I, I don't know, it's just not as good as some games, but it is in there in my top 39, has number 39. Um, I don't know, it's basically you play as either Stan, Kyle, Cameron, or Kenny, and you go around throwing snowballs at people, or what weapons you get, like terms of folk dolls and. Um, I don't remember the weapons, it's been a while now, but yeah. So that's why South Park is 39. Okay, 38, moving down, is GX3, also the PS1. Um, sorry about my chair squeaking. Basically, GX3 is the third in the GX series, and probably my favourite GX game. It has the actual 3D element to it, unlike GX1. GX2, I haven't really played much of it, so I can't really say an opinion on GX2, but with how it was, how it was I would have to say GX3 will still be winning. I just like the movement of GX3, and I just like the missions. There was um, a level which was pr pretty difficult. I haven't done that much of a game, but I do think it's going to be a game I'm going to let's play sometime, and it is definitely a worth um, trying out game if you haven't heard of Geeks 3. Anyway, moving on to 37. Um, number 37 is I Ninja for the PS2. Now, I played I Ninja on demo like years ago, and I liked the game, and then recently, well not recently, but a while ago now, but last year, something like that, I don't know. Um, I got Iron Ninja and I played it, and I got quite far. I was I got pretty addicted to it. The only problem with Iron Ninja is probably the challenge in the game is can be quite difficult, especially with some of the mini side mission things that you have to do, like the different versions of each level and what you have to do in the game. Um, I know I hate using a barrel and. There is something to do with ball thing which is pain in the ass too. But the game overall is a pretty cool game, so that's why it's number 37. Okay, moving on to 36, a game that you're all gonna hate. But really, I don't give a damn. This is my top 50. Um, it's Virgin Clan Gladiator, aka Deadlock for you American people. So basically, this is the game everybody hates and everybody just disses and goes, Oh, what the hell do you like this game? This game's all the crap. To my opinion, um, it's not my favorite Ratchet & Clank game, but it's definitely a, still a good game to me. Yes, it's very different to 1, 2, and 3. I mean, 3 is really good. I mean, like, number 1 is good, number 2 is just as probably good as number one. Maybe, Maybe a little not as good as number 1, but similar sort of thing. And number 3, yeah, is a lot better in the game. And then it goes to Gladiator, which is still a really good game, so I really like it. Um, the reasons why people might hate Gladiator is because it's basically a game that's based on more, but well, there's no real, there's no clank in the game, and basically it's just a lot of like arena sort of challenge things and a uh, mini challenges they have to do and stuff. Also, the skill point issue I think is a lot worse with Gladiator, as there's ten times more skill points. But I think the game is definitely a good game, and I've completed it twice or three times or something, including on a um, two-player mode. 
Um, anyway, moving on to number 35 is Psychonauts. A game that was supposed to be underrated, but now it seems to be. I think everybody knows it now. Um, <coughs> excuse my cough. Psychonauts is very different to most games. And why I mean, why I say different is. I don't know, the movement, the gameplay, and the storyline really. It's kind of all. It's, it's very bizarre. But in the same way as bizarre, it's just really cool looking and it's just a really good overall atmosphere. The only problem is, um, by my copy that I seem to get, I mean I've, I've had two copies now, and even the second copy, there's some sort of stuckness in the game. I don't know if it's actually the game itself or every copy I get, although I get my girlfriend every skip, every skip one, and every time it seems to die. So it could just be the two faulty games in a row. But anyway, Psychonauts is a good game. It's a platform game, so if anyone doesn't know what it is and wants to check it out, go ahead. Okay, moving on to 34 is Feature Armor for the PS2. Um, the only Feature Armor game I know of, as, f as far as I know. Um, it's a game I haven't beat, but I've only done first level, or first, what, like, Area. I've done like Fry's World, which is like the first seven level, so many missions, and it was really fun to do. The only problem was, it, I don't know, at times it was pretty hard. It was, it was like there'd be like some levels which were like simple and easy to go through and short, but then there'd be other levels which were like super long and hard and would have like tricky moments. Overall, what I played was was very fun. I mean, a lot of these games are fun. But, um, yeah, that's all I can really say. You play as Fry, Bender, Leela, and Dr. Zyberg. I mean, I've only played as two, Fry and Bender. And with Bender, I didn't get very far because it got confused and stuck. But I will have another go at it sometime. It's another sort of platform style game. Um, so yeah. Number 33 is, um, Nicktoons United, K SpongeBob and Friends Unite. Um, in, in Europe version, which is basically a game involving up to four players, I believe, and you basically take control of four different characters. SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron. I'm sick of the alarm happening when I'm trying to do things. Excuse our alarm. Um, anyway, the same was Jimmy Neutron, SpongeBob, Danny Phantom, and so we got Timmy. Yeah, from Fire Parents. Um, I don't really watch any of them, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm a bit too old to be honest. Um, but yeah, the game is pretty cool, and it's fairly easy to be honest. It's pretty easy. I mean, yeah, it has some tricky moments in the game, maybe later on. But I don't know. I got me and my girlfriend got through the game pretty quickly. So it is fairly an easy game, I guess. Um, so yeah. Anyway, number 32. King's Adventure, which... Yeah, I sort of am starting to regret playing it as number 32 now, because... I... I am going to have to cancel the game. I just can't do any more of it. I... Yeah, you, you don't, nobody knows about this yet, but they'll, they'll find out in this video. I've got some extra, some few videos I need to upload of it, just to show how difficult it's got. Seriously, the game as just basically the first level is easy. The second level is hard, long, but it's doable. The third level is once again easy, but my God, the fourth level is so hard. I have had about ten goes at the time, each time. I ended up losing all my lives and going back to the very beginning and I'm getting sick of it. It's just a game I can't do anymore and it's not really, I mean it used to be fun, it used to be a fun game which I used to like a lot and I would play a lot when I would win the first few levels but now it's just become annoying, it's become hard and annoying and I just, I just want to get through it, I don't want to play it for the fun of it, I just want to beat it. But I've had enough of the game to be honest and I uh, so that's why I'm going to cancel. I'm sorry if I'm cancelled two let's plays but uh, oh well. Um, so 
sorry to those people who was enjoying it. I just can't get any further. If anyone else wants to do a King of the Adventure, let's play. If there's no official completed one online at all on YouTube. It is just such a hard game. There's no modes like easy mode or hard mode or whatever. There's just one simple mode and you have to just do it. And I'm sick of games with lives. I hate games with lives. Because you lose all lives and you have to do it all again. And I hate doing it all again. And you have to do the entire level to save on Kings of So that's why it's um, become simply annoying. Anyway, 31 is Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I, be, I should play some of that today, actually. Um, super duper long game. I obviously know that. I've got up to maybe. Well, not half. I would say a third way through the game. I've had it quite a while now, but. I don't know, I've, I've quite a big break from it, so. Because it's a very long game. It it does have the, the sort of the repetitiveness with the fighting, but it but in a way it's sort of done in a way so that it actually is is fun with the fighting. In some games, r repetitiveness would be too much and just annoying, and you'd get sick of it and want to stop. But I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 2 is kind of different. It's kind of like you want to. I, I just get addicted and just want to go straight through it. I want to play lots at a time. But then, sometimes, like today, I had enough because I got to a part where I was dying at many times. I sort of got sick of it. Um, it is so long though. I'm, I'm only a third way through, and I've been at it for quite some time. But yeah, um, still a good game. I think it's a game that, like, a lot of most people probably know what it is. I mean, it's a pretty overrated game, probably. But it's, it's definitely a good game, so I won't diss it. Um, anyway, the final game I'm going to talk about for this part is number 30, Jack 2, Renegade. The only one of the 1, 2, 3 that I haven't completed. I have got to like 93% on Jack 2, and I was recently playing on Jack 2, but I haven't played it in a bit now. Mainly because what I got to was a really hard mission, and I just haven't had to go since. <laughs> I, I, no, oh, stupid noises on chair. I get sometimes with games I get up to like a certain section and then I'm like, oh I've, I've had enough. I'll do this in ne next month <laughs> or something. So that's sometimes my sort of downfall. But anyway, um Jack two is the second of the Jack series. Um it's it definitely goes up in hardness compared to number one. But it's still a fairly easy game. Nothing too hard. Um, yeah, a lot of people will know Jack 2 is, so yeah. Anyway, um, that's all for this part. See you guys on the next part of this countdown, in which we count down from 29 to maybe about 19. Okay, bye bye.